action as Liverpool travel to Vicarage Road for the second leg of their semi-final tie with Watford. The Championship side have already eliminated Premiership opponents Portsmouth and Southampton from this competition, but with Rafael Benitez's Liverpool a goal up from the first leg, the Hornets knew they had to score to stand any chance of a place in the final. But it was Liverpool who had the best of the early exchanges. John Arnarisa starting off the move. Steven Gerrard finding Fernando Morientes. The Spaniard hooking his shot wide. Just moments later, though, Watford were threatening. Haider Helgeson with the vision. Gavin Mahn shot from distance, never troubling years of Dudek. Watford continued to press, desperate to get back into the tie, and on the stroke of half-time, their supporters were screaming for a penalty. Steve Finnan with a challenge on Hamur Buaza. Referee Mike Riley, though, was unmoved. After the break, Liverpool up the tempo. Igor Bishkan not getting the best connection on his shot. The effort going just wide of the post. On 77 minutes, the Merseysiders had the chance to book their place in the final. Reese's quick pass, finding Gerrard. The England midfielder holding off the Watford defence to fire past former Reds keeper Paul Jones. 2 0 on aggregate. Liverpool now just one match away from reclaiming the trophy they won in 2003. It's over to Manchester now as the millionaires of Chelsea travel north to take on Manchester United in the second leg of their semi-final at Old Trafford. The Carling Cup is a competition that some clubs have been accused of not taking seriously over the years, with weakened teams fielded by managers and low attendances. But now at the semi-final stage and with the chance of winning silverware looming on the horizon, it has become a massive match for both clubs and their supporters. Earlier in the day, 6,000 Chelsea fans were making the 200-mile trip up the motorway to Manchester. With their club 10 points clear at the top of the league, they were hoping to get one over on their title rivals in the competition. It could prove the psychological edge that would define how the rest of their season pans out. You get to the stage of the semi-final, second leg. Um, we're right on the doorstep of Cardiff now. To come this far uh, to fall at this sort of stage is obviously going to be very disappointing, but we must make sure that we've still got our... Uh, we still got our ultimate target still in view, which obviously is going to be the Premiership. The first match of the tie at Stamford Bridge a fortnight ago was a hard-fought encounter, with both teams having the chances to take a lead into the second leg. But in the end, the defences came out on top, neither side breaking the deadlock. So with the tie delicately poised at nil-nil, and the second leg now the equivalent of a one-off cup game, Manchester United and their fans hope home advantage will be enough to see them through to the final. However, Chelsea have an excellent record at Old Trafford over the years and are unbeaten against the Reds in their last four meetings. Before the game, the two sets of fans are in equally buoyant mood as they look forward to the match, but many of the United supporters feel that Chelsea have an unfair advantage. If you look at them without the money, they, they had no pedigree. With us, without money or pedigree, throughout the years, we've been dominant. United got a lot of history, and, and we can only go from there, really. And that's something Chelsea haven't got. At the end of the day, Chelsea have only got one thing, and that's money. I think these lads would agree with me, wouldn't you? Absolutely, definitely. Too right. No problem. But the Chelsea fans aren't worried about that. Their team, under the leadership of Jose Mourinho, seems to be on the verge of greatness. And they see the Carling Cup as the first step on their way to confirming themselves as the new kings of English football. Hey. As long as we beat United tonight, show them who's number one now, you know, step aside Man United, isn't it? Before kick-off, both Alex Ferguson and Jose Mourinho showed how important this competition has become by announcing full-strength 11s. And with the atmosphere building inside the stadium, the 67,000 set-out crowd at Old Trafford look forward to what could be one of the season's great games. On the pitch tonight, there's so little to choose, and the quality of play up on the pitch is just fantastic. Here's Robin. Rogba. Rogba for Chelsea, it's a great ball, Lampard! Chelsea have the lead.
a great ball in towards Giggs. Oh, fantastic! United are right back in it. Terry's gone forward. Damien Duff. It's a great ball in. Damien Duff has surely scored the goal to take Chelsea to Cardiff. Jose Mourinho is going to his first domestic final. Sir Alex Ferguson's first domestic semi-final defeat in 11 years. And that desire to win four major trophies is still on for Chelsea. We're confident in the moment why we're playing and uh, we're top of the league and we're in the final, Colin Cup. And, um, but we know it's a very tough game, finals are uh, a particular sort of one-off games and Liverpool have got some fantastic players and if we don't play uh, to our top of our performance like we did tonight, we might lose that game. So, this year's League Cup final will be between Chelsea and Liverpool at Cardiff's Millennium Stadium on the 27th of February. Will it be the first of four for the Blues?